on. Yo. Hey, what's up? How you doing? All right? Huh? Uh, uh, multitasking. Multitasking. Yeah. No, I sunk in the wash, so I'm stretching it out again and uh, practicing to play with the kids. Yeah. No, play with the kids. Yes. My, my skin protector shrunk in the wash and I'm uh, practicing to play a hard game with the kids. And I just lost on a $30 scratch off. Uh, son of a bitch! Can you understand that? Hold up. What I'm saying is, my face visor shrunk in the wash and I'm trying to stretch it out again. And last night, my kids kicked my ass in that mouth game. So I'm trying to like figure out how to play it. You couldn't understand me? Really? All right, I gotta practice this better. By the way, I just lost on a $30 scratch off. I'm not buying these anymore. I'll call you later. Hey, what's going on guys? Zaren Perley from AJP Fishing. Uh, hope you like that beginning. I was laughing with it, of course, you know, as usual. I, I love making fun of myself and doing like a goof thing, but my kids were killing me with that game, the talking game. And uh, I really thought I was going to do great on it. You know, I figured I can, you know, talk with something like that because I barely have any teeth over here. So, yeah, it should be all right, you know. But we are dealing today with the moody blues of summer, okay? sluggish just you know you're going out there you're doing you know a lot of us usually do some you know flipping we're flipping grass you know flipping docks and stuff like that you know where i am in the northeast but i still want to go out i mean we know how to downsize okay we know how to downsize when it comes to a big bait you go to a smaller bait smaller profile okay when you're doing the crazy swim bait techniques and stuff like that and the glide bait techniques you know you gotta have that same mentality to downsize also in that you know category, you know, and the reason why you do that is because let's um, all right. For instance, okay, let's just say I'm out, you know, on safari. Okay, I'm absolutely starving. Okay, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, I need a meal. I'm starving, but I need a meal now. But I want to I want to use as le less energy as I possibly can. I don't want to go absolutely nuts. I want to use as little energy as I can, but get a decent sized meal out of it. Okay. So what do you think I'm gonna do? Do you think I'm gonna get the little tiny gazelle that's like right over to the like you know the side of me that's real small and doesn't really not gonna put up a fight? Or am I gonna go after the rhino that's completely steroided up and he's gonna jack me up with roid rage? You know, he's a big meal but I'm gonna wind up getting, you know, smacked around. It's gonna take me forever to get him down, okay? So I wanna use as less strength, you know, and stamina as I possibly can. So fish think the same way when they're in these moody blues of summer, okay? When we're sitting there in 80 degree water, you know, 85, 90, whatever kind of water you're next to, especially with small ponds, you know, you're going out there and it seems so simple, but you can downsize in every single category of a moving bait that you want to do, okay? Like, a lot of times I like to throw a Huddleston 8-inch, okay? When I throw a Huddleston 8-inch, yeah, that's great. But if they're not chasing something this big, they don't want something this big, they want something smaller, I'll downsize and I'll go to a 68. But even a 68 with that tail, that gives off even more thump, more vibration, okay? So I'll actually put this down also and just go to the standard, standard six inch, okay? The standard six inch, very, very subtle tail. It'll do what you need to do and you just slow yourself down. You know, you go painfully slow with your retrieves. Works a hundred times better, you know? Let's say you're doing a moving bait, okay? I love, love throwing 130 size whopper ploppers. They're my favorite things ever to throw. I don't even like the new 110s, you know? I, the 130s. I think are ideal, okay? And the 90s. If I'm gonna know, if I know they're not gonna be coming to chase this and they're not gonna commit to something big, they wanna commit to something small, I 
will make the adjustment to go with a 90 size, okay? I mean, look at the size comparison, okay? That's a huge deal, and I like the white also. If you guys are gonna be out there in some of that deeper water, okay? Let's say you see those smallies suspending in 20, 25 feet. They will come up on sunny days to hit white, okay? White, bone, you know, any type of those colors that are like an off, you know, like an off-white or a regular white. Smallmouth love to come up with smaller profiles like this and destroy it in deep water, okay? Um, if you're looking for that, maybe maybe you don't want this much of a action in the water where it's giving off too much flash. So what do you do? You even downsize a little bit of your splashing technique, okay? And I know this bait just seems big, but you're going slower and as you keep it on the bait. I know you can suspend this, right, when you stop it and this one will sink. This is the uh, Evolution Grass Burner, but this blade on top gives a lot subtle and not so loud, not so pronounced noise in the water when it's coming through. And you got an excellent stinger right here. You got a big size one back here. And you know, you just sit there and this is a nice uh, sunfish color. I mean, look at that sunfish color. That's insane, okay? That little bit of, that little bit of noise is so much different than a whopper plopper, okay? Now, another big thing is uh, my mega basses. I'll go from, you know, the, uh, the 165s I'll go down to the, uh, I'm sorry, the one, 185s. I'll go down to the 135Bs. You know, you're going from this size to this size in a glide bait, you know? And you, you obviously downsize everything. You downsize your line, okay? You downsize maybe your, your reel. You know, you don't want such a fast retrieve reel because you don't realize, okay, you regular picking up that kind of slack with a heavier bait, try to go a little bit slower or use a lower, uh, lower gear real okay instead of a, a seven one to one or a six two to one or the old six three to one go into the five range five something to one you know whatever you want to do that way okay another thing that i've noticed with my uh <laughs> with my river to seas okay my river to seas hey I, I i love these baits you know i mean the s waivers are great you know and this is the uh the 160 uh the 160 brand i believe but as much as i love these okay and they're so great there's a time and a place for them and when you downsize, you get a way better chance on a 120, okay, compared to that bigger profile, okay? You want to give yourself the, the best options you poss possibly can, you know? And the one, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the 168s and the 120s. And the 120 is so much, so much smaller and such a good slender body. And it's so bite-sized, you know? They want to just have that little chase it comes by them they're gonna hit that mm, they're gonna hit that thing a lot differently than when they normally do when they hit it in the springtime or in the fall time because just like us you know we get out there spring and fall what are we doing we're waiting for ice off we can't wait to go we're all jacked up to get a fish that's how the fish are okay fish are like oh my god the ice is broken i can swim around i see stuff moving around it's game on boom they're hitting it smacking your jerk baits smacking your glide baits ripping the rod out of your hand that's awesome the summertime, they're not doing it as much, all right? Little tiny pulls, little tiny tugs, you know? Just with your uh, just with your jigs and stuff like that and soft plastics. You're sitting in that grass. You're sitting there, you're just jigging up, letting it go back down. Reason why they're hitting it the most time, because it's right here, you know? It's just going right in front of the face. They're not going out too far to chase it. It's dropping down because they're underneath that mat and they're trying to stay protected from that sun, okay? Guys were asking me about smallies. Smallies are a different animal altogether, you know? They're gonna go out in you know, 60, 70 feet of water and they're gonna spend the 20, 25, 30 feet. And to call them up, you know, you can go with stuff like this, you know, but if you want that exact depth and let's say you're throwing out there and you're counting down a jig or a hair jig or a, uh, you know, Kitex swinger, or you're throwing down, you know, your Ned rig or whatever you wanna do, you have a heavy enough head that you're getting down there to that area and you know you said 25 suspending. You could just go like this all you want and jig it by them. You can see it on your graph. Unless you see after a little while, a dart mark, a shoot mark like that, that they're going after it. You don't see that, he ain't chasing something like that. So you need to have something that's not coming down directly in front of their face. You want something sometimes that's just swimming by them. If it's swimming by them, they might take a better shot at that. And the best way to do that, I found out over the years, spy baits. They really, really, really work and they really, really produce, okay? 
Uh, this is the Dual Realis 90. Okay, they have an 80, obviously, for downsizing to a smaller bait. They see these, it's like bait fish. It's not like chasing a giant, you know, whatever else. You're going after a, uh, you know, sunfish crappie or whatever else they want to chase, you know, or, or perch or something. They want just a nice little bait fish that swim by all by himself, all by his lonesome, and it's going by his face because he you just counted down one foot per second you're basically lined up with him if he's in 25 feet of water and you just bring it in nice and slow and these propellers go a mile a minute it's absolutely amazing how a little 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 pull of your line just as you're working it and creeping your reel whether it be on spinning gear or bait casting gear that propeller is going insane and displacing enough water to disperse out to make sure that 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 uh, fish is going to feel that vibration alongside their body, their lateral line, or their sensors, you know, with the small mouth and whatnot, they're going to hit something like this, okay? They're going to destroy it when they hit it, too, at that, at that, at that, you know, that depth. Because we're getting close to that whole thermocline thing and stuff like that. They're going to be pushing into different areas of water and different bodies of water, okay, that they're usually not into, that you want to look for them in. And they're going to start moving around pretty soon. And that thermocline is a, a very, very tricky scenario to work with unless you have the right baits and know which depths to you know counterbalance those so i would definitely recommend downsizing and some of these baits with power baits obviously you know about your plastics you know about your jigs you know lighter weight jigs you know smaller size you know profile baits with plastics you know and like i said your s waivers i mean this is this is one of my favorite colors right here this is that light trout color you know you add a little indentations on the tail you shave the sides down make it so you get more of a pronounced s this and that well that's great i can do everything i want with this but it, if that's not what he wants to chase, and that's what not the bass does not want to wrestle that day, because he's going to say, wow, that thing is actually pretty big. I don't feel like tackling that today. I'm tired. I'm, I mean, I'm relaxed. I want to just hang out and relax. What's he going to do? He's going to go after that small guy that's not going to take so much of a fight and take him down before he's going to take some of these bigger things down. Okay? Uh, sorry for the pronounced long video, but I just wanted to give you a quick uh, downsizing with moving baits so you know it a little bit better and which ones you can go with. That even some, uh, like somebody like me would definitely downsize and go into the smaller baits. There's a time and a place for everything. And right now, on some of those Moody Blues days, okay, when summer's just really dragging, you're like, ugh, it sucks. Try downsizing. It might be the key to your uh, key to your success. All right. So, good luck on the water. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks.